So I'm letting Patreon members dictate what the vlogs will look like and what they will be. Last week I put up a poll to ask what you guys wanted to see and the vote came in. How to progress from moving from straight pole vaulting to bent pole vaulting. Step one, teach them how to straight pole. Start by teaching and practicing good running mechanics, posture, and technique. Progress those good running mechanics into a fast, aggressive run. Teach an early and tall plant. Move the pole to vertical, emphasizing on pole speed. The goal should always be to land as deep into the coaching square as you can. Two, graduation. When they end up landing deep in the coach's square and it reaches 80% satisfactory to your liking as a coach, progress to the next thing. The progression is usually just changing a setting, whether it's grip, pull, or run. I usually like to start with grip. So every time you progress up, it should have them landing closer to the box, more in the middle of the coaching square or the front of the coaching square. And your goal should be to get their technique to a level where they're landing deep into the coach's square. So that if you raise the grip, they should be landing closer to the box, not in the box. Those box collars don't need to save your life because you shouldn't be coaching them to be landing anywhere near it. They progress onto the next progression once they land back deep into that coach's box. Make sense? And number three, bending the pole. Now, nine times out of 10, if you follow these progressions, the pole will start bending on its own and you won't have to do anything about it because the athlete's speed and technique started to bend the pole. So when the pole bends slightly, don't change everything right away. Make sure they're landing in the back of the coach's box. And then once they do that, then you can start playing with stuff all over again. Remember, energy bends poles. How do you add energy? Now for my example, I was running from two lefts or uh, yeah, four steps. And I was on a 15, 175. It's kind of a big pole to start bending from two lefts in the grass. <laughs> So what I would have done is I would have played, I would have dropped pole. I would have dropped five pounds at a time and played with the length and the weight of the pole. Slow progressions until the pole started bending on its own. Slow progressions are the best progressions. It should be written on everybody's forehead. It's important. And that's it. That's how to progress from straight pole to bent pole. Bonus, there's a lot of talk and I get a lot of emails about what to do with that bottom arm when you're teaching straight pole drill. How do you let it come on in the inside? And my answer always is, I don't coach that way and I haven't coached that way for years. Here's why. You can use it if you want and remember this is a little subjective. I just taught you the science of how to add energy into the pole and this is more the art stuff, the coaching philosophy, what I, how I play with the artsy stuff and mold the athletes into how I want them to look. Trust the science, play with the art. Number one, it makes it extremely hard to coach the bottom arm when they're ready to start playing with it if they've been taught since day one to let it come in. It's very passive right off the bat. It's hard to teach it to be active. Number two, I found that if you turn early enough, the arm comes in on its own. So here's how most people coach it, right? I'm gonna straight pull the vault. I just hit my fan with my thing. And then, bam, they end up landing on their back in the pit. I don't even like people landing on their back in the pit anymore. I might do it for a jump or two, and then I'm done with that because you don't wanna teach the athlete to go over the bar backwards. You want them to learn how to turn. And ever since I met Caroline White, and she's like, I teach the turn right off the bat, so do I now because it makes way more sense than anything else I've ever heard. I usually coach to land on their butt in the pit like this right off the bat. And then everyone always says, but Sean, you can't get upside down because this thing is in your arm. But if you coach the turn early enough, then their elbow usually goes right where you want them to anyways. And they don't even have to think about it. So I coach the turn right off the bat and I don't coach pulling this to the inside. Does that make sense? Less is more guys. That's why I do it that way. I've mentioned all this stuff in post videos about how to plant the pole and why I coach at one o'clock and then there's a turn drill. I help talk about that too. Both of those coincide with this. And you can do those turn drills with the pole and grip transitions and that'll start bending the pole on its own too. If you have enough poles to play with, that's usually the problem. And last and finally, not least, it is way easier to create a habit than to break one. It's really hard to break this habit of the arm coming on the inside and then getting smashed in the face when they plant the pole. So, I don't create the habit so I don't have to break it down the road. Yeah.